Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So thanks to Elena's email, we realized how silly we are that we have been <laughs> recommending and uh, always talk about uh, comparative tasting or you known as a side-by-side -side tasting. We never really spend time to explain what it is and how to do that at home. So that is what this video is about. Yeah, and uh, a great way to get started with that. You may have some of these at home already, or uh, if you want to get started with side-by-side -side tasting, these carefully curated uh, collections are a great way to do that. We've got the Dark Tea Master, which focuses on process, and the Oolong Tea Master, that focuses on cultivar. Um, the teas in these collections all come from the same producer, they're from the same terroir, so they're minimizing the amount of difference so you can focus in on the tasting elements that you're working on. Absolutely. You can enjoy them as a great variety pack so as well. Mm -hmm. But the best way and the way we recommend you try it is to do a comparative uh, tasting at home. Good old side by side. Let's mm -hmm. dive in. Of course, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button so you'll know whenever we create new videos, whenever we go live, we cover things like tastings, how-tos, vlog, tea travel in China that will be coming back someday. So, uh, and it, yeah, so that's it. I said it. Click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Yeah! Despite you are doing comparative tastings or not, the first step whenever mm. you have a tea is to first look at its dry leaf. That's right. This is a really easy step for me to forget. I'm sometimes so excited to get drinking. But let's have a look at this leaf. Mm -hmm. You can see the... Uh, first, the form is though both are pressed, they actually look very different. Mm -hmm. You can see the Qianliang Cha is such a tight press and I know from experience it's really tight. Yeah, the color also have a, a lot of a difference. Yeah. Uh, Tianliang Cha is to the greener side yeah. while the uh, Fu Zhuan is a darker color. Much more brown. You can yeah. see the uh, Jinhua, Jinhua a little bit in the Fu Zhuan as well, but it's a very dark brown compared to the light yellow green. So we actually have two tastings to do in this video. Mm -hmm. One is a Wulong tea, a actually rock tea, and the other one is this set, which is a dark tea. Fujuan and Tianliang Cha. Yeah, I wanted to start with the, uh, the Fujuan and especially the Tianliang Cha first. These teas are, uh, I don't want to say they're more delicate, but they're a little bit more lighter, a little bit more, um, I just feel like that's the right order. So feel free to line up your, if you're going to do multiple side-by-sides, you know, line them up for however that works for you. Mm -hmm. So these teas are great if you want to brew them in uh, Gaiwan. But you can also try grandpa style. Here we use serving pot to directly brew because it's a, a glass and it's great to show the leaves to you guys and it's easier for us to shear the cups too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's just you tasting, you could just use a glass tumbler as well. Mm -hmm. Lots of smoke on the Fujuan, but a little bit of a smokiness with that chocolate. I'm not surprised that the Tianliang Cha is really reserved. That is a tightly packed tea. It's not mm. going to give me too much just because I put a bit of warmth around it. Mm -hmm. If you don't have two identical serving pot at home, don't worry. You yeah. can just uh, choose something that is similar in size. Another advantage for that is when you have something similar in size, you won't mix the tea up easily. <laughs> Yeah, if you are cons uh, comparing some teas that look really similar. Yeah, yeah. You can see the Fujuan is starting to um, break apart almost right away in the, in the boiling water. Mm -hmm. There it goes, rolling. It's much looser, a uh, much looser press than the Qianliang Cha. Yeah. Which is expected. Yeah. So in terms of a comparative tasting, it's kind of a, I think people are pretty familiar with this concept because the concept wine of side, also, side by side, yeah, right? wine mm. also have that. So it's basically right. you tasting two teas at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, ideally you can even taste them like one sip after another so right. that you can really see the difference in the liquor. You can see the difference in its taste, uh, like the look of the leaves, and you can really 
taste the nuance of those yeah. teas. Yeah, this was a big game changer for me. Uh, you know, four or five years ago, I was getting started in tea, and I was overwhelmed by um, trying to figure out a tea, compare a tea that I had yesterday or last week with a tea that I was having now, and having them side by side really brings the subtle differences right to front stage. Very helpful. Mm-hmm. What is it? Oh, you got a little bit of fiber in your cup. I should have used a filter. However, I'm too lazy. <laughs> it's okay. That's the essence of grandpa style. Mm. To do a side-by-side -side tasting, you want to control how much leaf you put. If you're comparing mm. these two teas, you want to put about the same amount of leaves, the same amount of water, and uh, you know, similar cups so that you really minimize the differences. But of course, we're just tasting those at mm. home. Like, we want to have a fun experience right. of tasting, so of comparing, comparing? Comparing, right. sorry. And you don't want to stress out, you know? It's yeah. just a fun thing to do. Yeah, we're not a, in a lab. As close as possible, yeah. It doesn't need to be uh, exactly the same. Oh, I love the aroma of the Fujuan. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's got a really specific wood aroma, which is <laughs> brace for this. This is sort of like a a mostly rotten and soft wood log that's fallen in a marsh. It's got that really woodiness, but also that mossiness. This took me right back to one of our hikes. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I tasted Qianliang Cha, I think of earthy. Mm. It's really interesting because sometimes you might feel like, oh, it's a waste or oh, it doesn't look or feel right to do these teas in grandpa style. But it's like a, a person, right? If we want to evaluate that fully, we mm. not only want to see them at work, maybe at home, or when right. they are playing, like they have different different characters, characters in different, different roles. Mm. Same with tea, when they brew, uh, brewed in Gaiwan, or vis-a-vis -vis when they are brewed in uh, grandpa style, or big travel mug, or um, teapot, they all have a different element. So that could be something interesting to experience, and then the kid will have more than one brew, so you can actually play with it. Mm. Yeah, that's a real advantage is that you don't have to stick with one style. You've got a, a few swings at it. So you could try grandpa and com and then compare the grandpa with Gaiwan Brewing. Mm. You really see that how important uh, pro the role process plays, the major role process plays in the flavor of the tea. These teas are, uh, are remarkably different. Yeah. So in this video, we will talk mm. about mostly more wow. of a begin, um, beginner style of a comparative tasting, which is the uh, same amount of tea leaf, the same amount of brewing time, same amount of water and water temperature, and let's taste the difference. Mm. But you would notice with uh, like this tea, Qianliang Cha is really hard pressed, while Fujuan is relatively loose pressed. Mm. So it's not a quite a fair comparison. If you right. have two tea that are wildly different and do a side-by-side -side tasting, I would uh, uh, advise uh, beginners to steer away from those teas that are too different, like a green tea and black tea, or right, black right. tea and oolong tea. That would be a little bit hard, but, that, uh, but it's a great topic for level two comparative tasting. Because those you will need to brew them differently to bring them on the same baseline mm -hmm. and do comparative tasting, you will learn a lot about its processing or terroir or cultivar similarities across the border.
Coming back to these teas though, the, um, such a striking difference. The Tianliang Cha has opened up a little bit. I'm on to the, uh, my second cup and the profile is so different. I know I said this, this is my first time I have Tianliang Cha in this form. And oh. mm -hmm. like we brew that in travel mug, right? The big jar. Mm. I've never had that to brew in a, just a cup kind right, of a concept. Right. So what I tasted here is something really different and foreign to me. That earthiness, I personally don't like as much, I have to say. But oh. I've never tasted that in Gaiwan. I've never tasted right. that in my travel mug. It's just uh, here. I was the... Um... I can't, I was the opposite in the sense that I didn't find it, uh, I like it less, but I did notice how different it presented. Normally I'm picking up hints of mushroom and those, those notes that we've mm. talked about before. This time I'm getting, it's, it's a different mm. kind of earthy woodiness, so very different than the Fujuan. Very different. And you smell this, so the Fujuan smells amazing like a literally brown sugar with that mm. fruitiness may i yes yeah let me try that thank you oh yeah yeah exactly what you said brown sugar fruitiness a little bit so of so pleasant woodiness yes and the woodiness that uh, but not as smoky uh, not as campfire as mm. what we sipped yes not at all and you're right, this presents so different than in a Gaiwan. Right? Oh, what a fun experience for us. I'm going to top it up a little. And liquor color is really different. Yeah, huge liquor color difference, mm. you can see. Both gorgeous liquor, though, I have to say. Clear, bright, the, the uh, Tianliang Cha is this gorgeous golden yellow, and the Fujuan is a uh, deep amber. Mm. Now the Jinghua is starting to play into the Fujuan profile. For me now, I'm starting mm. to get more of that. can't quite place the Qianliang Cha. There's a certain um, almost straw, grassy, it's not grassy green, but straw, but still slight mm. and interesting. And mushroom. Mm. It's that kind of... The uh, mushroom is emerging. It took live a... mushroom. Live mushroom? <laughs> like a forest. It's not a, like fresh. a grocery store mm. mushroom. Yeah. It's yeah. a forest. Yeah. On In the earth still. Yeah. Mm. This is for me dirt flavor. Mm -hmm. Literally dirt. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. When you say dirt flavor, I have to say I think of red beets. So no. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's but not I know red what you beets. mean. It has more of Ashy. that. Ashy. Uh, yep. Yellow dirt. Yellow dirt? It, mm. Like, um, you know what I mean? Tea, tea area soil. You know, loose, a bit sandier than, uh, than earth. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. It's a new element I've never seen. I really I like it. I like the Qianliang like this a lot. I don't hate it. I just don't know why, why the... Mm -hmm. it, it still has that mushroom element that I love. It still has the thing I love most about Qianliang Cha, which is the net calming, relaxing effect is still 100% intact. Mm. Not just... really a flavor note, but more of a, a result. I just want to oh, show wow. this not fully like yeah, it's it not a... open yet. So this tea goes forever. Yeah, this is a, a really tight press and really giving tea. Right, and it's just uh, start to releasing, and the liquor is those what amber, orange. Yeah, yeah, an orange amber. This orange starting to head into a little bit mm. darker orange. You could definitely be topping this up for a while with hot water. Absolutely. Oh, this is so interesting. I didn't expect this. Despite at all. that, still significantly lighter than the Fujuan, though. 
Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely closed the gap compared to the first infusion. Mm-hmm. Fu Zhuan is more reddish tone. Oh yeah. It has a little alcohol smell. Uh, am I off today? Could no, be no. me. It's funny that you say that. I had that in the first infusion. Ignore. I really think the ignore destroyed my taste buds. Gentle, really gentle, not the beer even, like a rum. Light. Oh, you're talking about the fruit one. Has the alcohol. Yeah, like a, not the taste, just the smell. Like when I'm about to sip it, that a glimpse of no alcohol. Okay. No, I have, I feel like I have to tell the folks that you have not been drinking brandy or rum and eggnog this morning <laughs> at all. She's stone sober, folks. Mmm, that chocolatey with a hint of tart on the side tongue is now coming out. Mmm, it has a chocolatey. I think. Mm. I, You're right, cocoa-y, not cocoa, chocolate. Yes, not, it really reminds me yeah. of a cocoa powder. Without bitter, though. Without a bitter, mm. like that kind of. With or without? With a bitter. Oh, mine didn't. But have it's much not bitter. unpleasant bitter. Is I like because mm. I like a dark chocolate. I like a dry. She chocolate. loves it. Yeah. So that's for me. It's element that mm. I love. But um, yeah, it's really fun, interesting. This this uh, Qian Liang Cha kind of threw me off a little bit. Yeah, it. I have to admit, me too. Especially in the early infusion. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it was so light I couldn't really pick up much. Mm -hmm. But as we got into it, it started to become more familiar. The Qian Liang Cha that I'm used to, that I know and love. It means time. Just like when we first remember. Remember when we first got this tea? I was. Mm -hmm. It took me a while to warm up to it, um, and then it, it really hit me. Mm. As the water is boiling, let's have a look at the dry leaves as usual. Mm. So we've got two. Oh boy, really similar. Yeah, really similar. <laughs> Do you know who's who? Do you? I got them ready, and I have to admit, I don't. I give you a hint. Shui Xian usually have a bigger leaf. Yeah, I know. That was my. That's why I didn't pay attention, and now I see the Bai Sui Xiang. So we've got two teas here: Bai Sui Xiang and Shui Xian. And I think this is the Shui Xian. Mm hmm. Why? Uh, it's exactly what you said. Uh huh. What about the smell? Also confirm. The aroma of the Shui Xian was a little bit more. I better get this right. It's one of my favorite teas. A little bit more granite, a little bit more tobacco, a little bit more. You know, rock tea, masculine. Not that Bai Sui Xiang isn't. I love how similar, but how different it is. Right. The, if I don't smell them side by side, I wouldn't know how different right, they smell. Right. I totally like. agree. The the one in your right hand this has more. This is savory more, smell to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yes. this is chocolate. Chocolatey, right? <laughs> I'm right here. I just saw it. I was like, that's what I was thinking in my brain. Reveal for me. Well, let's keep drinking. I yo, okay. Drink, I'll know for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go right out there and tell the whole world. Are you so confident? I'm confident, 100% okay. on taste. I will nail these. Okay. So, <laughs> this is uh, the right one. This is the one for the left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So in the uh, kit, the the master kit that we have uh, curated on the website, there are three different teas in the. Collection, you you can brew up all three of them, but you don't have to. You can do right. what we're doing, like two teas at a time, because you know sometimes when we have tea at home, we don't need to drink so much of tea. Right. Especially now, it's less of a friend gatherings and stuff. Mm -hmm. So feel free to just do two teas yeah. at once, like here. Yeah, not to mention it's a lot to juggle too, right. logistically, right? right? I think our record is four at once. Personally, me and you. Right. Right. I can see probably. that she's probably done even more. <laughs> no, there's a video. You can check that out. We did the right. four. Anyway, don't want to get too distracted, but I think we do have four by how by how mm, ultra right. side by side. Yeah, we go crazy sometimes. <laughs> 
I'm super excited about these teas. Thing. It was a lot of tea, a lot of really good tea. Yeah, I choose a quite of a realistic setting here to brew, mm -hmm. though it's gongu brew. I know, you know, if you are not in any kind of a, in the tea business, you probably wouldn't have a lot of identical right. uh, vessels uh, or stuff. We probably collect the different guy ones mm -hmm. just for fun. It's yep. normal. Cute patterns uh, and whatnot. Right. So that's what I was uh, thinking. Maybe we can mm -hmm. showcase that how to do this. Again, the spirit is trying to minimize the difference and uh, right. but not going bonker as we're yeah. not in labs. So that's right. The well, more important thing is that you in, you give it a shot, not that you do everything absolutely perfectly. Mm -hmm. Right. Enjoy it the really process. is it's worth what it. Matters. That's right. And it, yeah. and in terms of leveling up your tasting, I can tell you from firsthand experience, it is totally worth it. It will really, it'll really help you focus on those details. And once you have them, then you can go to a solo tasting and bring those skills. It's like adding to your toolbox. Mm -hmm. And you can notice these guy ones, this one is slightly bigger mm. than the other one. So mm -hmm. when you are doing that at home, simply put a slightly less water. Oh, right, same. Uh, Savory, chocolatey it's same, difference. It's so different. Mm. Isn't that interesting? Mm. Mm. Okay, here we go. Of course, you can uh, do the rings at home, but I uh, skip rings today just for simplicity. It, yeah, it's simplicity and expediency. Look at that liquor, it's gorgeous, deep amber. Wow, just a shade, just a micro shade lighter. Mm -hmm. Do you want to smell this? Wow, our controlled side-by-side -side has become a blind side-by-side -side for me. Oh wow, have a smell of that. I'm not gonna- That's very interesting I'm not too. gonna taint Oops. you with my impression of that aroma. I wanna hear what you say. I'm somehow stuck in uh, what kind of soup? Let me think about it with uh, deep fried tofu. I got a really lovely floral note hint off of this. You know, it's not, it's obviously not Tiguan or something. It could be me being a little bit off today. Mm. You know, sometimes side by side is like that. You could be side by side myself. Today's, you write down the notes and tomorrow you taste the same tea the same way. It might appear different. It's not necessarily right. just water or other things. It's we're in different phase, or mm -hmm. it could be what we just ate, yeah. or yeah, your diet you know? for the day, or even your diet from the previous few days. Right. Um, side by side is really good to. At least in the moment, you're on a level playing field. You know? I am really like, <laughs> like it's probably what I had yesterday: the deep fried tofu cubes. Right. <laughs> I, uh... Oh, gorgeous. That's a gorgeous, so balanced. I'm going to have another smell of that right. one because i got to figure out here. And sometimes, you know, once I figure out one, one element, uh, my brain just is stuck on that one. Right. Just cannot proceed or even expand. It's a little bit frustrating, but it's a normal. I think it's I'm a normal thing. Start with this. Start with the one on my left. Some floral, some mineral. It's your left. Some sort of tobacco elements. I'm gonna head over to the right now. Take a couple breaths. The color is really similar, huh? Really similar, oh, but it's really noticeably good. darker in my cup though. I could still tell them apart. Mm. It's very smart of you This one has a hint too. of fruitiness. Right. Hint though. You know, they're both rock tea, so none of them are like suddenly black tea fruity at all. Mm. 
That's another thing in side by side is the uh, the notes kind of go to a different level. So creamy. I would taste the same one. I forgot which one. I'm on this one. You. Okay. So creamy. The one that I just called the savory and deep fried tofu. The taste is very creamy. Which is what, this one? Mm, mm. I agree. It's very lovely, soft, floral. Mm, you're getting that now, yeah. Are you getting my tofu yet? I didn't get the tofu, <laughs> no way, I have to say. I think I've got them figured out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for one more infusion, but I think I've got them figured out. Both really nice teas, but yeah. And again, really uh, subtle differences, right? This one is a shade more uh, they both have a little floral note, but this one emphasized the floral slightly more. This one is more in the mineral. I'm the opposite of you. Uh -huh. I feel like this one is more of the floral. And it's that kind of a stick my nose in the pleasant floral, not those stinky flowers. Mm. It stick my nose really close to those gentle aroma. Oh, right. Almost like it's no, so not magic a, tree style aroma. Right. Not overwhelming. You've mm -hmm. got to be close just to pick it up. It's a delicate mm -hmm. but present floral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just feel the bigger guy one a little bit less while this right. one is slightly right. fuller. Wow. I won't have so, this tunnel. Are you sticking to your answer? Hmm. I might Let's be uh this. this is really interesting. Lid. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. That is very interesting. Like a woody stony almost. Right. On the lid. Hmm. I'm probably sticking to my answer, but I really want to look at the leaf again mm -hmm. before I final same conclusion, right? Really? A shade darker in your right hand. It's yes. just a shade darker, but they're close. Really close. Deep yes. amber, deep orange if you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't feel bad if at home you cannot find identical serving pods or yeah. anything. Though it will slightly affect the color look, mm -hmm. but it's True. not a showstopper. Yeah. Yeah, and you can double, you can, we're, we're lucky enough, we've got the same cups here, so I can confirm mm -hmm. that this is a shade darker. Once it was in my cup, I can still see that shade difference. Right. But in the end, in the it's end, just it's a, a fun deal. experience right. to have something to talk about while having tea with your friend or just yourself. Enjoy the moment, making mm -hmm. the tea session a little bit more fun. Yeah, a different element to mm, add. You're really in. What was your answer? This is Sri Xian. This is Sri Xian. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stick with it. I didn't even look at the leaf, but the flavor seems so in that direction. Mm. I find that the uh, the one on our right has got more granite, tobacco, mineral, just a bit more masculine. Wow. Mm. It's really interesting because for me, this mask, mm, this, I don't even think this is a very floral and it's not a flirty floral like a son of the, like you wouldn't think of that. I think, yeah, stuff. I think I'm calling it's your really floral deep. that sweetness. I think so. Mm, mm, Cause sweet you know, sometimes, mm. you know, I shouldn't touch that. I mean, sometimes we are, we could describe the same thing from different angle mm. and end up with different words. There is an interesting, like, deep floral mm. somewhere in this tea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I totally agree. They, they each have their necessary element of you know, that rock tea floral, but I just find this one's a little bit more, a little bit more out there. Mm, this one more creamy. 
This one I didn't taste much cream. Hundred percent agree with Not that too. Not as creamy as mm -hmm. this one. I agree. Mm. Yep. So I hope this video is not too late for those of you who have the kit but wasn't sure how to fully enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I hope it's uh, helpful for your future exploring with comparative tasting. Yeah, absolutely. The key is to just get out there and get to it. You don't need to worry too much about all the little nuance and detail. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Yeah, have fun. And we should talk about which one was which. Did oh, I get it right? Right, right. He was right. This one is the Shui Xian. Yeah. <laughs> I had to get it right. It's my favorite tea. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, this is good. I love the aroma. The lid was great on that too. I got, right. the, I got a strong floral off the lid there. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, this is different. Mm -hmm. oh, so nice. They're both really fantastic teas. I really like both of them, but I'm a mm -hmm. big, I have a big soft spot for Shui Xian. Right. And in terms of doing comparative or side-by-side -side tasting in tea, you really don't have to limit to, uh, I have to uh, mm, take notes of infusion one or two. There mm -hmm. is no strict rules. Just right. smell everything, leaves, lid, cup, tasting, uh, sharing pot, anything. Just trying to kind of uh, absorb as much yeah, information yes, as possible word. and just really... Soak it all up. Yes, enjoy the experience mm -hmm. and um, share with us what you think if you have been yes. tasting this teas or you have been doing side-by-side -side tastings. Yeah, by all means, we'd love to hear from you. And of course, if you like the video and this kind of content is helpful to you, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. It super helps the channel. And until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping.